What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. The first story of the day is if you have a Galaxy S10 device and you're on the May update, you might remember you initially got the May update and maybe it was a little bit buggy and then Samsung pulled that update back. Then they pushed out a second May update that fixed those issues where you get lagginess and apps weren't working correctly and the phone needed to be rebooted. Well, it looks like they're pushing out a third May update. So if you're on the May update, you most likely uh, might end up getting a third May update that fixes some additional issues. Um, I have not personally got it, uh, the, uh, the the third update. I will end up seeing if I end up doing But if you're on the, if, so you might end up with three May updates if you're on the May update. If you're on the April update, you probably only get one update. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but regardless, don't be too confused if you end up getting three May updates uh, at this point. Next up, if you've been wanting a Galaxy Home, which is the equivalent of a Google Home or an Amazon Echo or Apple's HomePod, which is basically just a smart speaker you can ask questions to, control your smart home with, play music off of, but you've probably been waiting for a release date. It's been, I don't even know, a year, two years at this point. And it looks like finally the CEO of Samsung has come out and said that the Samsung Home will be released in quarter three of 2019, which is fantastic news. And it kind of makes sense at this point. They'll probably, if I had to guess, release this with the release of the Galaxy Note 10. Now, I would not be surprised one bit at all if the one of the free gifts with the Galaxy Note 10 is a Samsung Galaxy Home. Not the big one that's gonna be out there, but the mini one that will probably be a lot less expensive. Maybe they'll give the regular size one, but I can see just to get the ball rolling on this device and hopefully getting people to actually want the device and getting it out there, I can see this being a free gift I'm just making stuff up obviously right now. I don't have any concrete information on that being a free gift, but I can totally see it happen. Samsung usually gives fairly good gifts when you get a Galaxy device. Um, we have it be the Note line or the S line. And again, quarter three release date for sure. We know that much. Um, as for the free gift, I made it up, but I think it's a good idea. What do you guys think? Next up, it looks like we're getting our first look at the 45 watt charger that will come with the Galaxy Note. 10. Now the Note 10 is supposed to have a 45 watt charger, which would be the fastest charger ever for a Samsung device. A currently 25 watt for the S10 5G is the fastest. This would be faster than that. And it's this charger is pretty fat, like just overall fat looking body. Um, obviously this charger specifically would not be the one that comes out in America. At least the bottom part wouldn't be where you actually plug it into the wall. Um, ours look different than this, but the overall body itself definitely is what it would end up looking like for the new Galaxy Note 10. Again, fat, but why wouldn't, who cares? Big deal, it's gonna charge your devices that much faster. Basically, think about it fat, charging um, three times as fast as what you can with a regular S10 right now. So if it takes an hour and a half, it's gonna take what, about 30, 45, well, probably not 30 minutes, but maybe about 45 minutes, I would I would guess. 45 minutes to fully charge a phone. And the battery on that Galaxy Note 10 is supposed to be 4,500 milliamps. Our last story also is about the Galaxy Note 10, and it is about the uh, Galaxy Note 10 5G popping up on the benchmark site and showing that it's gonna have a ceramic back, which, by the way, would match what I get with my Galaxy S10 Plus, the 12 gigabyte version of RAM. So it looks like that one will also have come with 12 gigabytes of RAM with that phone, the best Note 10 Pro version that you could get. It'll also come with an eight gigabyte version and the benchmark scores for this device are kind of uh, uh, interesting, you know, kind of for the most part. So the 12 gigabyte version had a Snapdragon processor and the score on that one, 3529 for the single core and 10,840 for the multi-score. As for the one with eight gigabytes of RAM, that had the Exynos 9820 processor on there, and that has single core score of 3557, which did beat the, X, the uh, Qualcomm score, but it lost in multi-core at 9654. It also had only eight gigs of, by, gigs of RAM, but I still think it would lose regardless to the Snapdragon 855. So tell me how that makes you feel in the comments down below, a ceramic Galaxy Note 10. Does it make you want it? Is that the one you would end up getting? You're gonna play premium dollar for the 12 gigabytes of RAM version for it? 
The other eight gigabytes of RAM seems like it wouldn't be ceramic. So let me know in the comments down below which one you would end up getting. I have to get the best. I'm gonna get the best. So I would go with the ceramic 12 gigabytes Snapdragon 855 to match what I get with my Galaxy S10 Plus. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day and I will see you down the road. Peace.